Hello and welcome to this learning video. The name of the topic is itself very interesting. Children should get higher education, parents expectation. Students attending the online classes, they should get presenting, students expectation. Participants participating in events like infinity and some other technical events and they should win participants expectation. In the same analogy to that, our mathematics is also having some expectation named as mathematical expectation. So here we are going to see the basic definitions of mathematical expectation for discrete random variable and for continuous random variable followed by the mean variance and standard deviation okay so let me tell you the uh, application of this mathematical expectation the application is in uh, the uh, competitive examinations like gate and uh, cat mat okay all these uh, when it comes to the percentile and when you expect this should be if this should be the uh, cutoff then if this should be the uh, cutoff marks or percentage I will get the admission and see in so and so college and something like that uh, in the lucky draw also uh, it is uh, it is having an application okay because uh, when you need to have a lucky draw and then when you buy a ticket okay and then you expect to win okay then there is a chance of everyone to win but uh, not everyone win but at least few of them must win okay so let us start with the definition mathematical expectation of discrete random variable so here we will be having a discrete random variable x having the probability having the values x1 x2 xn with probabilities f of x1 f of x2 f of xn then the mathematical expectation or expected value of discrete random variable x is defined and denoted by expectation of x is summation of xi f of xi uh, when you apply the summation you will be getting this and in short also it is written like this okay now suppose if all these f of x1 f of x2 and f of xn are same and say this is to be f of x then what is it f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of xn is same as f of x plus f of x plus f of x how many times n times so what is it this comes out to be n times f of x but what is this what is this this f of x1 f of x2 and f of xn is nothing but sum of all the probabilities and what is sum of all the probabilities? Sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1. So that's why I have written 1 is equal to n times f of x. So what is f of x? f of x is equal to 1 by n. Now make use of this result in the definition of expectation that I have written as 1. So expectation of x then can be written as all these x, f of x1, f of x2, f of xn are same. So this is f of x common and we remain with x1 plus x2 plus xn. Okay, but what is fx? fx is 1 by n. So what is expectation of x? Expectation of x is x1 plus x2 plus so on xn upon n. That is what? This means the expectation of x is nothing but the arithmetic mean of x1, x2, xn. Okay, so that is the definition for that is the definition for mathematical expectation for discrete random variables. Now I am going to define the mathematical expectation for continuous random variable. Okay, so let us see the definition now. Let x be the uh, let x be the continuous random variable having the probabilities having the probabilities. In short, I will be writing having the probabilities, uh, having values uh, x1, x2, xn with probabilities f of x 
then the mathematical expectation or the expected value of continuous random variable x is defined and denoted by the very simple definition is defined and denoted by just a minute integration minus infinity to infinity integration minus infinity to infinity f of x dx x into sorry x into f of x dx let me uh, write down this nicely having having density function having density function having density function f of x or sometimes we say this is as probability density function f of x probability density function then this okay so this is nothing but the definition for continuous random variable okay discrete sum continuous integration okay now let us take another definition that is mean of this was the second definition third definition is mean what is the third definition mean of random variable x mean of random variable x okay so let us see what is mean of random variable x the expected value of the expected value of random variable x of of random variable x is called is called Statement is called mean of x and is denoted by and is denoted by like this. Sometimes mu of x and we read it as mean of x or expectation of x or sometimes just mu. It is denoted by mu. Okay, and we read it as or you can write that is expectation of x is nothing but mu x and we can call it as mean of random variable x mean of random variable x okay so this is nothing but the definition for mean now let us take uh, a definition of a variance now that is the fourth definition now the fourth definition is of variance so see what is variance the variance of a random variable the variance of a random variable x of a random variable x is defined as is defined as we denote the variance by sigma square and we write it as var of x okay actually it should be it's defined and denoted by because we have the notations also here this okay so sigma square is equal to variance of x and it is given by expectation of x minus mu whole square okay where what is this mu where this mu is nothing but expectation of x okay this can also be written as variance of x that is var of x is nothing but expectation of x and what is mu mu is also 
expectation of x. So expectation of x and x. This is expectation of x square. So variance of x can also be defined like expectation of x into expectation of x whole square. Okay. So this is what uh, we have uh, the definition of variance. Now let us define the variance for discrete random variable and for continuous random variable. Okay. So let us take the definition of this. We are actually going to prove this, how this comes out to be expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square. Okay. For the time being, let us uh, define the variance for discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So if x is if x is discrete random variable and if you have a discrete random variable you will be having probability function with with probability function with probability function what is the probability function we have f of x then then what then variance then variance of x is nothing but what is it? Expectation of expectation of x minus mu whole square. Okay, and you can write this one as summation of x minus mu whole square into f of x. Likewise, you can define the uh, this. Uh, Variance for continuous random variable, just the instead of summation, there would be an notation wise if we are talking. So, the second definition if x is continuous random variable with, and whenever it comes out to be continuous random variable, there would be a probability density function. So, with probability probability density function f of x probability density function f of x then 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 what then variance of x can be defined as variance of x is nothing but expectation of what you can write expectation of x minus mu whole square and this can be written as integration from minus infinity to infinity x minus mu whole square into f of x dx okay so this is nothing but the definition of uh, variance and the last definition is of standard deviation standard deviation or sometimes it is also called as standard error it is defined it is defined and denoted by or the random variable it is defined and denoted by just take the under root of this variance okay so if you have a random variable x this is under root of variance of x okay likewise you can you can square it to get variance of x is equal to sigma x square so this is uh, the definition of standard deviation and standard error. So we please stick with these definitions because these definitions are very important when we start solving the problems. Okay, so I hope this uh, video lecture is making some sense. So thank you for watching this uh, learning video. Keep learning and keep enjoying. Thank you.